The road to a prestigious California university has become a crime scene. Many shocked following the deaths of four students in a high speed crash. A man slamming into them at over 100 miles per hour on the Pacific Coast Highway. But now a new twist, the suspect making some jaw dropping claims about why he was driving so fast. Kelsey's here with this heartbreaking story. Kelsey. Adrian, authorities claim that Fraser Michael Bohm was driving 104 miles per hour the night of the crash. But Bohm's attorney claims that they have security footage that proves his client wasn't actually driving that fast and was actually being chased down the road in a road rage incident. But this all comes as the community and family members are mourning at Pepperdine University for their loved ones. Pepperdine University community grieving the loss of four students. Neve Ralston, Peyton Stewart, Asha Weir, and Deslin Williams. Neve and I are always side by side. These past few days, I keep looking to my left and expecting to see her there. I admire Deslin's confidence more than anything. The four college seniors died the night of October 17th, when authorities claim 22-year-old Fraser Michael Baum was speeding down the Pacific Coast Highway and lost control, slamming into three parked cars, hitting the four students on foot. Ash's name means hope, and she brought that to so many of us. She loved like there was no tomorrow, all in, 100%, always. Prosecutors claim the 22-year-old was driving 104 miles per hour in a 45 zone. But his attorney says they have security footage that proves Baum was driving 70 miles per hour and only because he was being chased down by another driver in a fit of road rage. This man began to yell at him thinking he was texting and uh, started screaming at him. My client was in the right-hand lane closest to the uh, side of the road and the other person then proceeded to speed up to get to push him off the road. Baum has pleaded not guilty to four counts each of murder and vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence. The investigation revealed that the defendant knew his actions were dangerous to human life and deliberately acted with conscious disregard for human life committing four counts of implied malice murder. Prosecutors also believe Baum may have been texting and driving. Bomb's attorney tells us that the person responsible for the road rage attack has been identified, adding that person's identity would come in, quote, due time. Uh, this case's next hearing is set for December 15th. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.